As Rocky prepared to fight Roland Lestarza, word got back to his camp that Lestarza claimed Rocky took so many punches, he had to be punch drunk. Rocky turned to his handlers and said he wasn't only going to knock the challenger out, he was going to punish him. New York City fans are thinking that the fight will be a repeat of the first contest between these two men, when Marciano in the white trunks won a tough decision over the durable La Starza. So far, the fight has been extremely close, with La Starza winning the early rounds on his boxing ability, and Marciano coming on strong as the bout has progressed. Rocky likes to work on his man close to the ropes, where his short reach is an advantage in the infighting. Much of his ring strategy is to work La Starza toward the strand. Marciano gets La Starza cornered, and the two men mix it up in a short, furious exchange. La Starza dances away, but Rocky stays right after him. Roland Lestarza had won 37 professional fights in a row when he lost to Marciano in their first bout. And he still has a brilliant 54 and 3, one loss record. Marciano lands one of his patented drop busters. Lestarza's hurt. Lestarza goes sailing through the rope. This is the first time he's ever been knocked down in his career. He's over the count of five, but the mandatory eight count rule is in effect. Marciano moves in again, throwing that dangerous weather from all angles. The stars that gets bounded with another jack on the right. He's almost completely helpless. The referee jumps in and stops the fight. Lestarza suffered bone damage and broken vessels in his arms. He had to pay the price for his words. Rocky came away with $174,000, some of which he may have hidden in unconventional places.